committee of the whole council to consider the Chinese University of Hong Kong Amendments Bill 2023. Members may refer to the appendix to the script for the debate and voting arrangements for the bill. Members have been informed that the committee will conduct a joint debate on the clauses and amendments. I now propose the question to you that the following clauses stand parts of the bill. Clauses 1 to 20. Mr. Tommy Chern will move amendments which seek to amend clauses 3, 7, 9, 10, 15, and 19. Members may refer to the appendix to the script for details of the amendments. Members may now proceed to a joint debate on the clauses and amendments. I will first call upon Mr. Tommy Chung to speak, but he is not required to move the amendments at this stage. Then I will call upon other members to speak. Upon the conclusion of the joint debate, the committee will first vote on the clauses with no amendments standing part of the bill, and then vote on the amendments. Mr. Tommy Chung. President, I now move technical amendments on clauses 1 to 20 of the CUHK Amendments Bill 2023. For the details of the amendments, please refer to the annex of the script. The amendments can be categorized into two aspects. First, on proposed definition. Second, on drafting. On proposed definition, first, amendments in relation to clause 3, the proposed definition for master of an additional college. Under clause 3, brackets 1 of the bill, a new definition of master is proposed to be added to section 2, brackets 1 of the CUO to mean in relation to an additional college, the master of college concerned. Under the existing section 2 brackets 1 of the CUO, head is defined to mean in relation to an original college, that is the Chongqi College, the United College of Hong Kong or New Asia College or Shaw College, the head of the college concerned. Since head and master in the English text is or would be rendered as yunzheng in the Chinese text, the amendment seeks to replace the definition of master originally proposed in the bill with the, with the proposed definition of master of an additional college to avoid possible confusion. Second, in relation to clause 19, proposed definition of commencement date in the transitional provisions. The amendment seeks to clarify that commencement date for the purposes of the transitional provisions would mean the date on which the enacted ordinance comes into operation under section 1 brackets 2 of the enacted ordinance. That is the day on which the enacted ordinance is published in the Gazette. On drafting, First of all, in relation to clauses 7, 9, and 10 of the bill, in the English text, the word shall will be replaced with is to, are to, or must. The update is for ensuring consistency between various pro provisions. Second, amendments to clauses 10 and 15 of the bill. In the English text, the word normally would be replaced by ordinarily. This is to replace the English rendition of Tongshan Guizhu in the Chinese text. The, the, the original wording that is ordinarily rested or normally residents would be replaced with ordinarily residents so that it is in line with other legislation. President, the above amendments does not do not affect the original meaning of the provisions. The amendments have incorporated views put forward by members during the scrutiny period and the legal advice put forward by the Legal Service Division. I give them my heartfelt 
Thanks. The Bills Committee has no objection to the above amendments. I implore members to support and pass the amendments. I so submit. Thank you, members, and thank you, President. Does any members does any member wish to speak? If not, we first vote on the clauses with no amendments standing parts of the bill. I put the question to you that the clauses with no amendments as set out in the appendix to the script stand parts of the bill. Would those in favour please raise their hands? Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the motion passed. We now vote on the amendments. Mr. Tommy Zhang, you may move your amendments. Chairman, I move the amendments set out in the appendix to the script. I propose the question to you that Mr. Tommy Zhang's amendments be passed. Would those in favour please raise their hands? Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the amendments passed. Clauses 3, 7, 9, 10, 15 and 19 as amended. I now put the question to you that the clauses as amended just read out by the clerk stand part of the bill. Would those in favour please raise their hands? Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the motion passed. All the proceedings on the Chinese University of Hong Kong Amendments Bill 2023 have been concluded in Committee of the Whole Council. Council now resumes. Mr. Tommy Chen. President, I now report to the Council that the Chinese University of Hong Kong Amendments Bill 2023 has been passed by Committee of the Whole Council with amendments. I move the motion that this Council adopts the report. I now propose the question to you that Mr. Tommy Chung's motion be passed. Would those in favour please raise their hands? Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the motion passed. Third reading, the Chinese University of Hong Kong Amendments